Are that, we that, sure that Caleb Williams like is the number one pick here? Sure. No, we're not. Well, so that's why he's got. I'm so you know, there was a suggestion obviously that he sits this year. It, it, you know, there was a suggestion, obviously, that he not play the rest of the season. I, I disagree with that suggestion. But part of I, the reason I disagree with it is that he's a competitor. I, there's no doubt who Caleb Williams is as a competitor. Like, he he is everything that everyone wants out of him. But he has to continue to play well to, to be drafted number one. I know one or two might not matter to the rest of us. I mean, the money is the money, the status is the status. But being drafted number one overall is, is pretty awesome. And if he continues to not play as one, again, I don't think it's his fault because the offense is broken. There are just no easy passes. Like, if you ever watch him play and think, oh, there's an easy pass, it's not the offense for some reason. And so he's got to continue to play well to not let Drake May pass him. Uh, it, it's that simple. So I think that um, – you talk about the motivation offensively. Do they quit? Do they not? Caleb Williams won't quit. He's going to continue to play hard because his draft, I think his draft stock needs him to play well. Sammy, have you seen anywhere out there that has these number one pick in the draft props out there? Because I've i been, I mean, every week when I go on the road and, and have access to looking at lines in different state sports books, I haven't seen any. Like, like it's, I would love to bet Drake May to, it, it, like, at a good number. I don't want to just say I'm going to bet him and then he, I see he's two to one or whatever. But like, I think there's a very, very, very good chance that Drake May goes number one in the draft. Have, you, have we seen this well, market out, books, any, out there anywhere? No, I think the books are basically telling you they're scared without telling you officially because these markets have come down. I remember about a month ago, Caleb Williams was minus five, six dollars to go first overall. And now the market's evaporated. And what that tells you as a better is that they don't know anymore who's going one. Like there's a lot more concern of the liabilities that could build on the other guys, on the Drake Mays. Not that Marvin Harrison goes number one overall, but you know, Caleb to the eyes of the books was a lock to have him minus 500 in late September and minus 600. But to have that market go from a minus $5 favorite to off the board is just fear that it's no longer going to be Caleb Williams. I am seeing Caleb Williams minus 300, Drake May plus 350, but this is at faraway places that might not have limits that are, you know, really worth betting. Um, I'll just say this, though. February, March, when we have no sports to talk about, uh, Super Bowl's over. This is going to be a real conversation for a long time. This will be <laughs> yep. a look because there, there's nothing else going on. May May's going to be a good pro, I think. So uh, I don't know. I'm looking at these odds now. I know Sammy would probably bet Shadur Sanders 66 to 1, but I think May yep. plus 350 would be an interesting bet. <laughs> Let's start that rumor right now, Sammy. We're going to Dion and Shadur to the Bears because the Bears are going to be looking for a new coach. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.